back on track. The Law Brothers took care of everything and settled my case for $400,000. $500,000 for my case. Boom, baby. Call us. We're the Law Brothers. Call 1-800-222-2222 or visit lawbrothers.com. is KCAL News Mornings. It does not feel like a Tuesday. What does it feel like to it you? It feels like a Thursday. Okay. We're having so much fun here. You've got those Friday vibes coming <laughs> at the beginning <laughs> of the week. I do. And I'm here all week. Uh, good morning. Today is Tuesday, May 7th. Welcome to KCAL News at 5 o'clock. I'm Colleen Estrews. Yeah, good morning, everyone. I'm Chris Holmshaw. Here are some of the major headlines we're following for you this morning. We're not going to, you know, de-escalate until um, we win divestment. Protesters at Pomona College have set up tents and sleeping bags where graduation ceremonies are supposed to take place. So what is next in the latest encampment disruption? Reaching an agreement is the absolute best outcome. Israel and Hamas continue to go back and forth on a ceasefire as Israeli troops move in on Rafah. Excited and I'm just ready for the next chapter in life. A South L.A. charter success is a true success story. How the underserved community campus is preparing students for their next step. You have to wait for that story. It is so, so good. It's a great one. Uplifting. Yeah. Aww. But does it feel like end of week vibes for you? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what she's talking about. I know. About. You know what? That's good. I mean, she's, in, good. she's in a really good mood. I am. I'm in a good mood. I think Real I got some sleep. Step. Maybe in like an extra 20 minutes. I got minutes. some good sleep, too. Yeah. Yeah. I did not. So, hey. so <laughs> let's talk tomorrow. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Okay, though. It's Tuesday. Tuesday's usually, as we always talk about here in the studio, it's one of those days where it kind of, you're a little bit dragging. But because you guys are, you guys have that energy, maybe you're going to rub it off on me. All right. So, good morning, everybody. Take a look. This is a beautiful shot of our Santa Monica Pier. We are looking at clear skies. That marine layer is still not with us and so that's why we're waking up to some really chilly conditions in some spots or at least cool so here's a quick look at Santa Monica we're waking up to temperatures in the mid 50s we do have some light north winds starting to push in and then you can see that the wind speeds everywhere else we're looking at some slightly offshore conditions coming in from our inland communities headed toward the ocean and then we do have some lighter winds through Camarillo we do have wind advisories to talk about so I'll get to that in just a moment but here's a look at our highs today very similar to yesterday we're talking 60s and 70s 70s. I will have more details on that wind advisory and when the 80s will be returning. Back to you. All right, Amber, thank you so much. And as we head out the door and talk about traffic conditions, we still have all lanes stopped on the south end too at Fletcher because of this crash. So you can't see that backup already. You have to take your alternate routes this morning so you don't get stuck there. 110 South is one of them. You could also take the five, just really depends on where you're going. Uh, the westbound 134 is an option that'll get you onto the five freeway and Fletcher Drive as well. The rest of LA is relatively quiet, although we're still dealing with this crash on the northbound five at Carmenita. The left lane and middle lane are blocked off and you can see that back up in the northbound direction and the Inland Empire road work continues 60 west from Rubido to Valley Way two right lanes are closed. We also have road work on the 10 with the backup there leaving the 15. All right, with just a few days until Pomona College's graduation ceremony, protesters have taken over the space meant to be used for it. KCO News reporter Tina Patel is live at Pomona College now with the school's response. Tina. Good morning. Yeah, as you said, graduation ceremonies expected to take place here this weekend. But you can see that there are student protesters who have taken over the stage and lawn area. A few dozen tents have been erected here. One of the protesters spoke to our Jeff Nguyen last night. Students, faculty, and staff all want divestment on Pomona campus, and so it's now the turn of Pomona College to um, really respond to that call. The students say they are planning to camp out here until their demands are met. They want the college to disclose any investments it has with companies that have ties to Israel. They are also calling for a ceasefire to the war in Gaza. Now, this is the second time that students here have demonstrated. Last month, 20 people were arrested after they took over part of an administration building. Not everyone on campus agrees with the actions of the protesters. A lot of Jewish students who definitely aren't as vocal about the release. I think they feel a lot more sheltered um, because they don't they don't want to be attacked. 
And Papona College sent out a statement saying throughout the year, college leaders have offered to meet with student protesters and will continue to do so. We will promote safety for all our members of our community and pursue our educational mission considering.